other candidate. Thousands in Illinois are eligible to have their criminal records wiped clean. Recreational marijuana was legalized January 1st of 2020, and for hundreds of thousands of people, that meant a chance to clear the slate. Target 3 investigator Renee Cooper is with us now. So, Renee, what's the process of expunging those records? Well, it depends on the record, and really, there are a lot. After the bill was signed in 2019, state officials estimated around 570,000 cannabis offenses would be automatically expunged, but another 119,000 could petition to be pardoned or go through an expungement process. Now, for the people behind these charges, vacating can be a life changer, opening up more access to jobs, higher education, and even places to live. days, Christopher Bradford is doing what he loves, spending his working hours at the stovetop. He's the kitchen manager here at Brunchfield Cafe in Springfield. You know, the sky is the limit now, and that's what I plan on doing is reaching to the sky because I don't have this on my back. 20 years ago, he was in Decatur when officers caught him with a personal stash of marijuana. Bradford says guns were present resulting in several felony charges. Rough trying to get a job, keeping the job. Once they see a class X on your, you know saying, a class X or a felon on your background, employers trying to, you know, mm. When cannabis was legalized, they also took the next step to say, we should actually go back and help the people who have records for things that wouldn't be illegal today. Attorney Susan Zelke represented Bradford. She's currently working on about 150 cases at nonprofit Land of Lincoln Legal Aid. If, you know, you were writing on a job application, have you ever had a felony conviction? Could you not check that box anymore? You can mark that you do not have a felony conviction. Um, it's been expunged. And how big of a deal is that for people? I think it's a huge deal. For Bradford, it was about an eight to nine month process. They say no news is good news, but on certain things, I was like, oh my gosh, is it going to happen? He got the letter just a few weeks ago. People don't know that they can do something about their cannabis conviction. And those who do know that something can be done believe the state is just going to take care of it. Even the nearly 600,000 who qualify for automatic expungement could be waiting until 2025. When the state was supposed to start automatically taking care of some of these, they still um, needed to send a notice to the local circuit clerks to get it off the court record. Um, and in some of those cases, that's not happening at all. Bradford is thankful his record is clean and hopes others get their chance too. There's a lot of good people who, I mean, you know, they made mistakes. I mean, we all got to grow. Bradford advises anyone with a cannabis record or other record at all that they have questions about clearing, reach out to Land of Lincoln. Selke says even if you don't know if you're eligible for expungement, make the call. Now I have that contact information and much more of this story for you on our website. That's WCIA.com under the Target 3 tab. Back to you. All right, Renee, thank you. Looking